She's one of the most powerful people on Earth. My whole life shall be devoted to your service. She's also wife, mother, grandmother. She's a woman. She's just a normal woman. A smashing lady, just like my mum. She serves her people by being the one fixed point in a changing age. Marking Queen Elizabeth's Golden Jubilee, a new series reveals the private person leading a very public life. It has turned out to be an anus horribilis. A surprisingly close-up look at an extraordinary woman. There's something magical about her. I don't know. I can't describe it. Queen and Country premieres 9.30 tonight, ABC. Tonight, following the 7.30 report budget special, a gang of thieves on rollerblades have all at Sun Hill running in circles on the bill. Then, after Queen and Country, Tony Jones presents Late Line. Tonight on ABC. Tonight, a budget boost to defence and border protection with Labor warning it'll come at the expense of the poor. Calls for a review of legal liability in the wake of the massive Bondi Beach accident payout and the final curtain call for a national treasure of stage and screen. Good evening, Rod Young with ABC News. A safer Australia, that's the goal of tonight's budget according to Peter Costello but the opposition claims families and the poor will pay for increased spending on defence and border protection. It's a guns and butter budget, according to Peter Collins tour. Mark Chester, ABC News. Now tonight's weather news with Jenny Woodward. Thanks, Rod. There were a few showers about the southern fringe of the Darling Downs this morning, but the rest of the state was fine, clear and warm. This afternoon's highest temperature, 35 degrees at Burketown and Richmond. Still very warm during the day for the month of May. The maximums were 2 to 4 degrees above average in eastern districts, while in the west, Birdsville on 31 was 6 above. It's cooler overnight and the lowest minimum this morning was 3 degrees at Injun. Brisbane ranged from 14 to 26 degrees, while Amberley was warmer than yesterday with 9 this morning. Morning. The Golden Sunshine Coast both had a top of 24 degrees. No rain to report, although there were a few showers spotted on the radar. So we'll go on to the satellite photo, and that shows clear skies over most of the state. There's just a little cover in the southeast corner from the upper trough, and that's currently moving out to sea. Another frontal system is moving through Western Australia. Onto the charts, and the high near Tasmania has a weak ridge over Queensland, so we've had the fine weather throughout, apart from those few showers on the downs. There may also have been a shower on the north tropical coast. That front over the west is moving quickly and by tomorrow night it will bring some high cloud to the southwest which will extend across to coastal parts by Thursday evening. Only a very little rain is likely before this system clears off the coast on Friday. Now to major centres for tomorrow and showers are expected in Sydney and Adelaide, drizzle in Canberra and some late rain in Melbourne. Northern Queensland can expect isolated showers along the northern and eastern peninsula but it should be fine elsewhere. In western Queensland, fine, a warm day and a cool night, some high cloud developing in the southwest, but little or no rain. For central Queensland, fine, light southeasterly winds and afternoon northeasterly sea breezes along the coast. Southeast districts will be fine, light southwesterly winds and afternoon coastal sea breezes. In the southeast, another cool night inland, 8 degrees for Dolby and Gundawindi, and the maximums up to 26 degrees. Brisbane will be fine with light winds and local afternoon sea breezes, 25 to 27 the top temperature. Mostly fine for Thursday and Friday, and back to fine weather again on Saturday. On Morton Bay, southwesterly winds about 10 knots with an afternoon sea breeze, and highest seas just under a metre, and high tide tomorrow morning at 11am. That's the weather. Now back to Rod. Thanks, Jenny. And that's the news for now. The federal budget next. Good night. Around about 12 o'clock at night. I let her do it. Surely you must have something better to do with you.
After the 7.30 report budget special, a gang of thieves on rollerblades have ordered Sun Hill running in circles on the bill. Then the private person leading a very public life is revealed in Queen and Country, tonight on ABC. Good evening and welcome to Parliament House. I'm Jim Middleton. Peter Costello is about to deliver his seventh budget against the backdrop of a more uncertain international environment and questions about John Howard's plans for his future. The Treasurer says a safer Australia will be his theme. But the... You're lucky! Armstrong. No parents, no nanny, no luck. So, you might be needing my help after all. Sam's having teething troubles with his new life. Night and day, six o'clock tomorrow. There's a crunchy new Australian flavour in Thursday's comedy feed. Look at me, Mum. I'm a wreck. Yes, you are. You've really stepped on the wife. Oh, thank you, Mum. At 8.30, Jerry Hall drops by the Kumars at number 42. Have you ever been out with an Indian? No, I haven't. I'd, I'd think about it because, you know, you'll never go by. Then at nine, it's the premiere of Kath and Kim. What can I get you for Ricky, Kel? Oh, a bit of you and be all right. Oh, Kel, <laughs> haven't you had enough? They're suburban nightmares living the suburban dream. I'm not a housewife. I'm a hornbag. How about you and I save some water? Oh, sounds economical. I am a bit of a greenie. Oh, God. And there are many reasons to join Backburner at 9.30. If nothing else, it will encourage men to spend more time watching telly with their kids. What more can we tell you? Look at me. Look at me, Kim. Look at me. Look at me. Now, I've got one word to say to you, Kim. Feast. The Thursday comedy feast on ABC. Throughout his life, legendary rugby league coach Wayne Bennett has tried to make a difference. You can be a success, but you've got to get off and and make something happen. In his new book, he reveals what it takes to be a winner in football and in life. I've always been able to live with failure, but I've never been able to live with not doing the best that I could. Wayne Bennett's inspirational book, Don't Die With The Music In You, is available from ABC Shops, ABC Centres, Bookstores and ABC Online. On Thursday at 7.30, the leader of the opposition, Simon Crean, has his right of reply to the Treasurer's budget. In this first year as leader, hear what he has to say about your money, your jobs and your family. The right of reply, Thursday at 7.30. Ian Henderson with a news update. Peter Costello's seventh budget has homed in on security issues, building new detention centres, increasing aerial surveillance of the coastline and introducing a raft of anti-terrorism measures. To the national weather now. And a cold front is moving through the bite and a weak upper trough persists over New South Wales. So, a few showers tomorrow for Sydney. Cold and cloudy with occasional drizzle in Canberra. In Melbourne, cloud increasing ahead of late rain and a shower or two for Adelaide. Fine or becoming fine in Brisbane, Hobart and Perth. And that's the news to now, but join us for a considered look at the budget in Late Line at 10.30. Good night. On Foreign Correspondent... For the first time, the Tigers permit a glimpse of one of their most effective weapons, the camera team that go into battle and record these extraordinary images. They are the Truth Tigers, and in this conflict, all the camera operators seen here died in these battles. Award-winning journalist Mark Corcoran with the people dying to get their story. Foreign Correspondent, 9.30, Wednesday. Saturday. Everyone needs a little adult stimulation. 7.30, all new Monarch of the Glen. Are you accusing me of something? We're standing shoulder to shoulder with you in your hour of need. Me too. Don't butt in. 8.30, on the bill. Whether it was a suicide attempt or not, someone is out there dealing in prescribed drugs. 9.30, it's Parky and the incorrigible Billy Connolly. Then at 10.20, night and day omnibus.
Lipstick. Down below. A new series full of scandal and intrigue. She'll come home. I know she will. Make sure you're home Saturday. The Recollections of Madison. And to be honest with you, I didn't think it made much sense. A portrait of love and loss. But don't get me wrong, I had a very happy childhood. Beauty and age. I take a size 12. Well, I take a small size 12. But this I ordered in size 8 so it can really snap it together. From the co-creator of Marion and Jeff, and starring Joanna Lumley. Waistcoat, suit, he put his thumbs in his pockets like this, but he had very bad breath. Up in Town, premieres 9.20, Wednesday. The story of one woman's destiny. God save the Queen! God save the Queen! Of manipulation and power. You must not listen to false friends. I require an answer from you. You owe me. The Queen owes you nothing! But most of all, it's a story of love. When it comes to marrying, my own liking must be the principal thing. You are welcome. Victoria and Albert, coming soon to ABC.